Must be Friday, right? It is, and it's time for Fancy Friday. I just want to give a quick hello to my daddy. I talked to him today on the phone, and he knows that a Fancy Friday is coming, so I just want to tell him really quick hi. And Judy, um, she makes sure that my dad gets to see these every time, and my best friend Lisa and Lindsay, those are my biggest fans. I appreciate. Um, you guys watching, any of you all that I don't know that are out there watching, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think and uh, how this uh, affects your life, if at all. Um, but anyway, it is uh, it is Friday. <laughs> it is time for Fancy Friday. And I hope that you enjoy these videos and I hope that you enjoy today's video. Alright, shall we start? Yeah, I think it's time to start, right? So if you're new, I just want to start off really quick telling you what Fancy Friday is. So back in 2020, I really missed getting dressed up and it occurred to me that I didn't have to miss it because I had tons of clothes in my closet. I just didn't have anywhere to go or anywhere to use them. And it started occurring to me that we do that all the time with things, not just clothes, uh, things that we have in our house candles, um, tablecloths, china, good dishes, you know, uh, anything like that that we love but we save for a special time or a special guest or somebody else. Uh, we have beautiful towels but we save them for the guests. Beautiful linens but those go in the guest room. Um, and it occurred to me that that we really need to stop that. We need to go back to using our things and stop saving them for other people. It's okay to save them for times, but you still need to use them too. You can't just save them and never use them. Okay? You can say, I'm going to bring these out gonna have, but I have because I have guests, but you also need to say, I'm going to bring these out and use them because I love them and I love me and me deserves nice things too, not just my guests. So that is what Fancy Friday is all about. So for me, I made Fancy Friday about clothes because I like to get dressed up. And so every Friday I come and I show you an outfit and I talk about some things. Um, so today, this is my outfit and I'm trying to head more towards fall. So I decided to go all black today. <laughs> All right, so this is a skirt that you have probably seen many times. It is a Lula Rose skirt. Super simple, but also looks great. I feel like I'm just about everybody. And I went with this leather shirt. And you can wear it down like this, or you can wear it up like this. And I just really like the simple look of this. And, you know, I, I feel like... You know, it's fancy, but you can go lower, you know, and more casual, but you can actually fancy it up more, too, if you'd like. So, this is my fall look for today, and my uh, little black skirt, <laughs> and little black shirt, um, instead of a LBD little black dress. So, what do you think? Do you like it? Um, I do. I really like the way it looks. So I'd love to hear what you think, and if you have an item of black clothing that you love, I'd love to hear about that too. Now last year I started doing something of adding to my clothes thing, and that is I do an affirmation, I talk about a self-care idea, and I do a decluttering idea because um, my word of the year is declutter and I started in January coming up with ideas to declutter not just physical spaces but my mind too but I talked last Friday about kind of mixing things up and I decided that next month in November I'm going to change things around a little bit I am going to still do Fancy Friday about clothes but I'm going to shorten it and that's all that it's going to be about is Fancy Friday and the clothes and why I do Fancy Friday so it'll be smaller 
and I may talk more about the clothes, where I got them, uh, why I like them, maybe give some links to the clothes, um, or maybe, uh, you know, uh, talk about the makeup I'm wearing or the necklace uh, I'm wearing, but it's going to be about what I'm wearing. And then I'm going to work on doing an affirmation. I might do affirmation and self-care together. I may just do affirmations all by themselves and talk about why affirmations are so important. Come up with an affirmation and try to make it interactive of what are you saying to yourself. And I'd love to hear that kind of thing. So those are the two things that I'm going to do. I'm going to be getting rid of the decluttering, but I will probably still do decluttering of the mind and possibly add that to the self-care. So I may at some point do three, the affirmations, the self-care with the decluttering, add an end to that, the decluttering of the mind, and then the Fancy Friday. It just depends on how much time I really have on my hands or I really want to start doing because this will be starting with the holidays, you know, November and C. But I am going to start making Fancy Friday much shorter and concentrate more on clothes and the original idea of that and then start expanding on some other things. If there are other things you want to hear me talk about other than those kinds of things, I'd love to hear it. Um, I also uh, am going to start, I did this a while back, and I'm going to start doing my favorite things again. Um, and I think I'm going to start that in November as well, just a, a really quick thing, talking about a product that I love. Sometimes it'll be a product I sell, sometimes it won't be, but it'll be a product that I use a whole lot. So um, again, if you want to hear something else, tell me about it. I'd be glad to talk about it, and I hope that you like these ideas, and if you don't, Tell me that too, because I appreciate your feedback so, so much. I really do. And, you know, that's it. <laughs> okay, so time for affirmations. And my affirmation for this week is, I do my best and my best is good enough. How many times have you thought to yourself that your best wasn't your good enough, wasn't good enough? You knew that you did your best, but it didn't seem like it was good enough. I could do better. We're really hard on ourselves, aren't we? And, I mean, there is a time where maybe you think you didn't do your best, okay? And you're disappointed in yourself for not doing your best. But I think we need to look at that might have been your best at that time. That might have been your best for that day. And that was good enough. It really was. And so I like this affirmation because it's really, really simple. And it's really easy to repeat. I did my best and my best is good enough. I am doing my best, and my best is good enough. doesn't mean that you can't do better, but right now, this second, what you can do is your best, and it is good enough. And, you know, I, I can't think of anything more beautiful than that, right? That you're trying, and at that moment, what you've done is what you can do and the next day is the next day and praise yourself for what you did and then the next day go at it again okay simple simple as pie right <laughs> and now it's time for a self-care idea and that is this week exfoliate your face and your body now I just want to say this really quick don't exfoliate your face every day and don't exfoliate your body every day. But you can do your body more often than you do your face. I usually try to exfoliate my face and my body every Monday. And I don't have another day that I do it. But I do do, do it a different day. I just don't. That's like willy-nilly. But picking like Monday and Thursday would be good. Um, and there are some really great... Uh, body exfoliations out there. Um, I have a body scrub that I absolutely love. If you're interested in that, just let me know. Um, I also use um, a berry scrub, so it smells like strawberries. It uses cranberry and strawberry seeds on it. Oh, it smells so good, and that is what I exfoliate um, my face with. So, um, and I just looked over at my notes, and my cat's sleeping on my notes. But anyway, I have these notes. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> memorized. So um, that is great self-care. And the more often you do it, you'll see that your skin will start glowing. And then you'll start being like, wow, I look great. Um, so that's a good, good self-care for this week. So get out there and start exfoliating. All right. <laughs> And now it's time for decluttering. Are you like me and you need so much decluttering done? I decided that this week would be great to declutter your hobby area. Now, if you don't have a hobby, maybe think of something else. If you're like my dad and Judy and they have absolutely no clutter in their house. <laughs> Um, you can come up with another idea uh, for decluttering. Go for decluttering your mind. Do some box breathing, some breathing or meditation. But if you're like me, you have a lot of hobbies, you got your crafts out, and they're not all in one good space, uh, start bringing them together. Start decluttering. What have you not used? I have cra um, scrapbooking, um, these drawers. They're like on wheels, and I think they got like 10 drawers each. And there are things in there I know I haven't used in 10 years. Um, and I need to because I have boxes of photographs that were pre-digital that need to be um, put in, in scrapbooks. So I know it's easier when they're all together and they're, you know, put in, in a good decluttered way, then you can just grab them and start using them. So if you have a hobby, tell me what your hobby is and uh, go out there and start decluttering your hobby area, your craft area, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And that's it. That's the end of Fancy Friday. I hope that you enjoyed this, uh, this episode of Fancy Friday. I hope you have an awesome awesome weekend and thank you so much goodbye daddy i love you so much goodbye judy lisa Lindsay. um just drop me a quick comment on here and tell me hi or whatever and uh if you uh have a youtube account subscribe uh comment uh hit like all that fun stuff and i will do the same for you you have an awesome uh, Friday and weekend, and I will see you next Friday. Bye!